So what, in the immediate time frame, what is, what is your goal for SpaceX now that you've done this, which is a huge accomplishment? What is the plan for you in the immediate time and then the longer range? Sure, so, the, um, so we plan to refly uh, one of the landed um, rocket boosters, hopefully in about uh, two or three months, something like that. Um, and, um, and then, that, that, so that'll be an important milestone. Um, so far, the, the, the stages are looking like quite, quite good, mm -hmm. uh, even though they come through, through quite, there's a really difficult entry, re-entry situation. Um, but they're, they're looking in, like they're in, they're in good shape. Um, and we now have four of them. Um, so we want to start reflying them, um, you know, towards the end of summer. Um, and then uh, hopefully by the end of this year, we'll be launching Falcon Heavy, uh, which will, will be the, um, the most powerful rocket uh, in the world by more than a factor of two. Mm -hmm. So Falcon Heavy is, will be on the order of five million pounds of thrust on liftoff, which is about two thirds the size of a Saturn V. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's, it's That's the rocket that uh, took the astronauts to the moon. Right? right, exactly. So... In fact, we're launching from the same, from the same pad. From, very same pad? From the Apollo 11 pad. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So uh, you, uh, you're hoping I, to yeah. launch that Falcon Heavy by the end of this year, you said? Yeah, that's, that's our aspiration. Is that... Now, that's somewhat of a delay from when you first hoped to launch it, right? Uh, yeah. Um, but... Uh, the, the, I mean, it's not like we had a lot of pressing customers who wanted us to launch it. Uh -huh. um, okay. <laughs> so, the, uh, in fact, the first launch will, will not have any operational satellites. It'll be a demonstration launch. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the first operational flights where, where customers actually want us to launch it are next year. Um, wh you know, whereas there's, there's a lot of customers who want us to launch uh, Falcon 9. Um, so about, about a quarter of our, launch, of our flights are for, uh, for NASA, um, but three quarters are for uh, commercial satellites, like broadcast and communication satellites, um, or science missions for other countries. Um, and um, and, and there's, just, there's quite, a big, quite a backlog. And we, ha we had an issue with the rocket last year, so that um, put about a six-month hole in our schedule. So we're sort of backlogged on, on our launches, and we're trying to get them out as, as, as quickly as we, as we can. Um, and you know, so... You know, service our customers. The the uh, so we're, we're, the launches will take place, you know, every two to four weeks. So it's quite a, quite a high launch cadence. That's a much faster cadence than NASA had, right? Um, yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It'll be more launches than any anything else in the world. Um, so more than Russia, more than Europe, more than well, more than China by next year certainly. And largely to deliver customers. Satellite. Yeah, it's. it's um, there's a lot of broadcast and communication satellites that are going to geosynchronous orbit, mm -hmm. um, and um, and then there's we're, we're, we'll also be launching the new uh, Iridium constellation. Mm -hmm. So that Iridium's got a next generation mm -hmm. uh, constellation of uh, satellites. I think 60 or 70 satellites, quite you know, decent sized satellites. Uh, that that'll be like many orders of magnitude improvement over the current Iridium system. So we'll be able to have global broadband. Um, so that, that'll be a whole bunch of launches. And um, yeah, and then, and then next year we'll be flying um, Dragon version two, which is the one that's capable of taking up to seven astronauts to the space station. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, Dra Dragon two really is, it's a propulsive lander as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll be the, uh, it's, it's, it's intended to carry astronauts to the space station, but it's also capable of being a general science delivery platform to anywhere in the solar system. So, um, so where are you going with it? Well, we're, going to, we're, we're going to send one to Mars in 2018. Okay. Now, let's no, talk wait, about wait, 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 2018, 2018, that's for sure. Yeah, a couple of years. A couple of years.